Honey, where's my super suit? <laughs> As you're aware, we're getting crushed ready to race. I'm going to take them around the country. We've gone for two test rides so far. Oh. Oh. Dang. Why did we not install the windshield? So you're aware cars goes fast, and when you go fast, you gotta stop fast. And so we got some EBC brakes. So I had my people contact EBC. They understand crush, they get it, you guys get it. So they went ahead and sent us a few goodies. They hooked us up with four high-performance off-road brake pads. On top of that, they sent four rotors. So let's just say we will be prepared to stop in the future. So here's the situation. I wanna pressure wash some of this stuff because I do have drainage, it's right here. And I also have clean welds, so I have to be careful. I don't wanna go ahead and put water on them because then they'll rust and you'll never be able to get paint on them. So I've gone ahead and ground a lot of this up. Well, I actually wire wheeled it. Now I'm going to grind it with a grinding stone so that this meshes down to the frame real clean. You can see the depth difference right there. Working on stuff like this is just ridiculous. I can't put wheels on it right now because the front's all torn apart. So we'll waterproof the welds, then we'll start pressure washing. Crush is really, really filthy, and Crush doesn't have any wheels on it. Excuse me, him. He doesn't have any wheels on him. He doesn't have suspension, he doesn't have the whole front end assembly together, and he reeks. He smells like he rolled in something. I'm not kidding at all. I came into the shop today and it reeks in here. I don't know if something died in here, or if Jake the Toilet Snake left a snack in here, or what it is, but it reeks. I'm thinking it's Crush, but I don't know what would have changed. I can't find this thing, but what I can do is wash Crush finally because I'm done painting the rock rails. There's no more bare metal. I only have a half machine because I'm doing this side black and this side orange, just in case you were wondering. Maybe it's something in this drain here. Like I said, I don't know where it is, but I'm hoping cleaning this thing will clean something in the air or clean something in the drain or something Crush. I don't know. I'm hoping it fixes it though. My race suit came in. I hope it fits, I'm a tall skinny guy. 3D machines, they, they misspelled it. Well, they didn't misspell it, but there's no space in 3D machines. At, at least not that I'm aware of. It's a perfect fit. I look snazzy. Check it out. I have to order my victim my passenger, uh, the same thing, because they have to have a fireproof suit too. So I'll just order the exact same thing, but I'll have them fix this, and then I'll keep that one with the fixed thing. Maybe they could put machine on this thing somewhere. I'm sure I could find somebody to do that for me. While we're talking about race suits, I do wanna say that the race is on April 21st. Mark your calendars, no matter what age you are, come on out. We're gonna start the party at about 11 a.m. We'll go to about 7 p.m. I race at 4 p.m., a one hour long race. Super, super stoked. Let's get back to this 3D Machines production. I have the driver's side done. It's completely disassembled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over on that side. Don't, that was a really short time lapse. Yeah, there's a reason behind that. They, this thing is an absolute disaster. This thing is only a 2016 and they have all these weird parts on this thing. This is a standard nut. It's supposed to be metric. 
I literally had this 18 inch bar here to turn it off and it wasn't cutting it. I had to take my second bar, wedge it in here on the hub here so that the hub didn't turn because the brakes wouldn't hold it. Anyways, seven or 800 pounds worth of torque later, we got the nut off. I'm not a saint myself, but I do believe Crush is better off with me. <laughs> New CV axles. We'll see if they're really heavy duty, if they're really what they say they are. One thing's for sure, they're brand new. Oh, thank goodness, it comes with a nut on the end. They do appear to be heavy duty. So you can see I'm surrounded by three CV axles. This one came off the passenger side, this one came off the driver's side. Now this is looking more like the driver's side, which is heavy duty. This one, you can see the diameter of the shaft is just slightly smaller. I would say it's probably a quarter, quarter of the diameter smaller. Overall, I think it'll work. I have the new differential seal installed. I'm going to install my new CV axle. Thank goodness, we can get rid of that thing. I had to walk out on Crush, I was sick of them. No, totally kidding, I'm gonna go get some lunch and I had to go pick up a grease gun and torque specs. I've noticed that I'm developing a lisp again because as you guys know, I have Invisalign, so they're constantly changing and I constantly have a new lisp where I have to change the way I speak. So please, please deal with it. It's kind of fun and it's a new imperfection and I like imperfections. It makes everybody unique and original. Well, it's still standing, that's a good sign. Or is it? Shots fired. Man, it's a wet, wet mess. Don't why would you bring a grease gun up here? Don't ask me how my mind works. Half the time, I don't know. Hey! How you doing? She yelling at me or saying hi? This could be interesting. That went well, she's over there. She says she's gonna put goldfish in her yard. She's got so much water in her yard. It's like that just everywhere. Just got back to the warehouse. I gotta give a big thanks to Adam for lunch. It was delicious, Adam, thank you very much. Got my torque specs. Let's try to get this back end together. I had the tunes on because I thought I was going to put this whole rear end together without you guys and then just show you the final product. But then I opened up the rotor package. Check these things out. These things are ace. That's before, this is after. Thicker, more stylish, holy smokes, I love that. Not only are we gonna brake better, but we're gonna look good doing it. Brake assembly and knuckle assembly on the rear end is completed. Now I have to replace these collars. I need to borrow a tool from Ian. I was going to give him some Superfly machine merch, but I remembered he doesn't wear hats, ever. So I got the next best thing. And I brought you this too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Have you tried out this drill press yet? Yeah. Does it work good? Yeah. I, I can't remember, if, is this a 2018 model or a 2017 model? It's 2016. A 2016, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> EBC brake pads are chillaxing on both sides and I'm going to swap out the rotors. I sprayed a little lubricant on there while I was putting in the pads to let that penetrate in. Hopefully it did a little bit of work. And just like that, with the magic of editing, everything is installed. Those allow us to check one more thing off the list and allow this thing to get closer to being moving, running, and killing it on the trails. I'll tell you one thing, I've never been so excited to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. EBC's info is in the description. Until next time, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly, 3D Machines out.